The new summer season at the Chautauqua Institution begins this weekend, nearly one year after tragedy struck there. News Force Kelsey Anderson and photojournalist Rich Ersing tell us what security upgrades have been made there, the economic impact of this attraction, and they give us a tour around. About 85 miles southeast of Buffalo, a 750-acre community sits on the shores of Chautauqua Lake. So there's 900 private homes on the grounds, and we operate and manage somewhere close to 150 buildings. About 300 people live on the grounds of the Chautauqua Institution year-round. Many more come during the summer season. We'll explain what that is in a minute. There are cafes here and restaurants, shops, a library, a post office, 15 different denominational houses, a 4,000 seat amphitheater, tennis courts, and more. It all sits on two miles of lakefront property. It's most often been described when a first time visitor comes here as if it's a Norman Rockwell painting. So what happens here? Besides the external beauty, the institution has an internal mission. And that's the crux behind why so many people live here and visit. To help citizens understand what were the great pressing issues of the day. For about two months every summer, there are weekly themes that are explored here. Each day, speakers come to the grounds to give their expertise. That brings everyone from um, politicians to heads of state to key religious leaders to thought leaders to artists who are unpacking themes. And the hope is you open your mind when you're here. So if you're a liberal person and you hear uh, a progressive speaker on Monday and you're delighted by that, if we do this right, you're going to hear a conservative perspective on the same topic or a similar topic the next day. That may push your buttons a little bit. And maybe in the middle of the week, we have a centrist viewpoint that that pulls those two things together. But the lectures that happen behind me here are just the starting point. Hill says it's the conversations throughout the community through the week that really bring their mission to life. The real secret sauce of Chautauqua is the interaction of people in between events that are talking about what they heard and what they saw and um, in the most wonderful ways, seeing if people agree, disagree, where are they with all of this? Some of the themes this summer include friendship and national parks. They also dig deeper into the state of believing and can the center hold a question in our current climate? Last summer, during a week revolving around homes in America, author Salman Rushdie was supposed to have a conversation here with a man who co-founded a refuge for writers whose lives are being threatened for their work. Rushdie, whose life has been threatened, was attacked on stage. Very grateful, as he noted, to the many Chautauquans who rushed the stage, not only to secure the assailant, but to help Mr. Rushdie and to ultimately save his life. Rushdie now lives with blindness in his right eye. Hill says they've reflected on that devastating moment and have made changes. Some things will be notable to people, uh, whether that is um, wands at, at the gate or for certain events, metal detectors, right? So there's a clear bag policy now. And we've done some things that, of course, we won't talk about publicly because the best way to ruin a security plan is to tell people what that is. But we're confident that people coming back to the institution uh, will be safe, um, and we're looking forward to having them return. Since 1874, this place has been an institution in Chautauqua County, literally. A recent economic impact study done by an Erie PA consulting firm found 100,000 people visit each year. More than 3,200 jobs are supported by the institution, leading to a total economic impact of more than $233 million. We represent 50% of all of the tourism income in Chautauqua County, one entity, and tourism is one of the major business drivers for the county. The summer season kicks off this Sunday. In Chautauqua, Kelsey Anderson, News 4.